Flirting can be fun and lighthearted, and it also just lets the other person know that you are interested in them. But for some reason, I am seeing you guys get flirting confused with just simple compliments. But I'm gonna help you guys out. We are gonna talk about the 10 subtle ways to flirt with a man so it's crystal clear. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, look, this video is, I'm excited to do this video only because I've been seeing lately that people, men and women included, even though we give it this video for the women to be able to flirt with the men today, I am seeing people get flirting and compliments confused. Even for me, I can give people compliments all day, every day, men and women. I can see a guy and he's dressed nice and I'll compliment his outfit. I can see another woman who's dressed beautifully or who's in shape and I can compliment her. That does not mean I'm interested in either party. <laughs> it just means I like to give credit where credit is due. But I think for men, sometimes them seeing a beautiful woman give them a compliment, they think like, oh shoot, like she's into me. Oh shoot, she flirting with me. And it's not the case. I'm just trying to be nice and compliment you on whatever it is that I'm trying to compliment you on. So I think these 10 ways, even though they may be a little what we would call subtle, I think they're going to help you guys out a lot. And I'm saying subtle because we don't want to be too overt. We don't want to be raw. You know, we don't want to do team too much because you got to leave a little flirt. You got to leave a little interest. You got to leave a little suspense. You got to leave a little... Ooh, what's she doing over there? Let me see. I want to learn more about her. So let's get into the list because it's going to get juicy. And before we move on, as we're going through the list, I need for you to comment below which one of these flirting techniques have you done or will you do the next time you are interested in somebody? I want to know because y'all know I'm a little nosy. Oh, look, this list might feel like it's a little mundane. It might feel like, girl, I knew this already, but I can guarantee if you implemented and combined some of these techniques or even did them one off on their own, I promise and guarantee you it's going to get you the results that you need for them to get you. The first thing is to maintain eye contact. Some of y'all are too scared to even keep the gaze of a man long enough to let him know that you're interested. Now, I'm not talking about some weird, like, you're not even blinking <laughs> eye contact. And he's like, okay, weirdo, like, leave me alone. We're not talking about that. We're talking about keeping his gaze for a few minutes. He sees you, you see him, you lock eyes, you don't look away real quick and make it awkward. You make sure that y'all see each other. Then you look away to continue doing what you're doing. And then you repeat that again, right? Because at some point, if you do that two to three times throughout the night, because we're talking about things that are in person, okay? <laughs> at some point, he's going to notice you looking at him and you're going to notice he's looking at you too, right? So holding eye contact, keeping his gaze for a little bit longer than you would somebody that you're not interested in or a complete stranger is going to give him that first signal that you may be interested. The next subtle way that you can flirt with a man is to smile. This one coupled with the one we just talked about goes hand in hand. If you're giving him and maintaining eye contact like this, like a weirdo and you're not blinking or nothing, that's different than you like making that eye contact and you smiling. You know, that's different, right? So smiling, especially if you have a beautiful smile. Now I'm not saying that. <laughs> Let me not be rude. I mean, we know that everyone's teeth gain is completely different. Some people have a beautiful smile. You can look at them and, you know, their teeth may not be perfect or whatever, but they, their smile is beautiful. I have people tell me all the time that I have a beautiful smile. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> thank you. But it isn't necessarily because my teeth are straight. I got a gap. There's a whole bunch of things that I wish would be better, you know, about my teeth. But I still use that to my advantage. So smiling lets that man know that you are interested also, it helps them to open that door so you're not doing the resting B face. Y'all know what I'm talking about, where you just look at me 24-7, you ain't got no smile or nothing, and it just makes for people to not even want to come up to you, to talk to you, to say anything to you because they think you're mad or sad or they think you're a mean person, all based on your facial expression. So we have to be aware of our facial expressions and how we show up in public. I also have to work on this because sometimes I also have the resting B face, like, don't come over here talking to me, leave me alone. And that is for some men, where it's like, sir, 
you have to be this tall to ride this ride. <laughs> like, you couldn't even hang 24 hours in my presence. Like, and I immediately know this, okay? So no, get away from here. But that's also something that I don't want to do for the person who I am interested in. So maintaining that eye contact and coupling with a beautiful smile is key. The third subtle way to flirt with a man is to give a compliment. We talked about this a little bit earlier when I was telling y'all about how I compliment other people. A compliment goes a long way. And I think this is where people get confused because they're not used to receiving compliments, especially if it's from another attractive person. They automatically assume that that person is interested in them. And so that's why the compliment has to be coupled with some of the other things. If you've already been making eye contact with him throughout the night and you're smiling at him, when you guys do meet or come into close proximity or one person comes up to the other person, you can compliment them on something that they might have on or the way that they smell or, you know, they might have a great smile. They might have a nice haircut, whatever the case may be. You can compliment him on that thing. And that kind of just opens the door and lets his guard down, right? It's like, okay, well, she see me. And it also tells him that you are paying attention to him. You're saying, oh, you smell really good. Oh, cool. You like his cologne. Oh, cool. You compliment his shoes. You compliment his outfit, what he got on. You compliment his hair, his hairstyle. That shows him that you've been paying attention. And who doesn't want to be paid attention to? Before I move on from this one, I want to convey that the compliment needs to be genuine. It can be about their appearance, about accomplishments, about whatever. But you need to make sure that it's a real compliment and you really feel that way. If you don't like their cologne, don't say that. If you don't like what they got on, don't say that. You know what I mean? Like be your authentic, truthful self and be very specific and don't overdo it, right? Be specific, but don't overdo it. The fourth subtle way that you can flirt with a man is playful teasing. This is one of my favorite ones from the list. I firmly believe that when you can play and be happy and just have that type of fun banter and go back and forth a little bit, it's fun. It's a little sexy depending on what y'all are saying, but it also just lets the other person know that you're a cool person to be around, that you know how to have fun, that you're not so stuck up and so serious all the time. It also creates that playful atmosphere where they know you can take a joke and you can say a joke back. And essentially what you're doing is like building rapport. You're getting to know that person. Both of you guys' walls to fall down. This interaction is playful. It's not hurtful. It's good natured. It's a little jokey joke, right? And so if you have a hard time with this one, I would encourage you to kind of work on it a little bit. Be playful, have a little teasing, have a quick comeback to something that he said so he can see that you have a little bit of wit about you. The fifth way to flirt with a man is simple, to actually listen to what they're saying. Showing genuine interest in what he is talking about, asking questions, follow-up questions, getting clarity, that is a clear indicator that the other person is like, okay, cool, this person understands me, they're trying to get to know me, they have questions, they're listening, they're a part of this conversation. I think that is a really powerful technique that we need to use more often when it comes to flirting. The sixth subtle way to flirt with a man is to use your body language. Ooh, it's getting juicy. Okay, so look y'all, subtle touches, small touches. I'm not talking about anything inappropriate, anything sexual, cause y'all like to go too far. I'm talking about if you guys are sitting close or even standing close and talking to each other, a light touch on the arm or a tough touch on the knee, like, <laughs> so funny. All of these little teeny tiny subtle ways is everything, right? And you want to position your physical body towards him. You want to create a little bit less distance and a closer proximity to him. So instead of you being way over here and he way over here and y'all talking from across the room, no, 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 come close, right? Turn your body language to him. Get closer, gently touch his arm and have those conversations. Do these small, if you're sitting down, don't be way on this side of the couch and he way on that side or have your body language the opposite towards him. Lean in, honey. Yes, let's have a conversation. Do what you need to do to reel him in, sis. Because what that is doing is signaling to him that there is some additional interest. Now, one thing that I know about men and that I have learned about men, and some of my men, male friends have even told me this, that they are not the best at figuring out small little one-off cues to see if a woman is interested. 
That's why I keep trying to tell y'all it has to be a combination of some of these things so it can be like boom in their face or it has to be very concrete or you have to even verbalize it sometimes. But that's a whole nother conversation and a whole nother video for another day. I remember one of my homeboys told me that he doesn't always approach women because he doesn't want to get turned down. And so I was like, that makes sense. But he said, if a woman shows an open door, he said, if she smiles at me, if she keeps looking at me, if she does that little body language, if she comes and talks to me, he will see all of these different subtle cues. He'll put them together and be like, okay, cool. Now I have the open door to go and try to pursue her. But he says, if those things don't happen, then he typically is just like, well, I don't really know what to say or what to do. And so he just lets the opportunity go by. So women, I'm telling you right now, have a little open door. Okay. He says, let him know that you're interested. Show him. Do that smile. Okay. Do that eye contact. Do that body language. So you can let him know. Number seven, the seven subtle way to flirt with a man is laughter. Okay. Laughter is fun. I also feel like it has to be a genuine kind of laugh, not just like some over the top. <laughs> I was like, girl, you don't even laugh like that. Relax. Even if he's not the funniest, right? Like a little chuckle or a little laugh, a little giggle can definitely signal to him that you might be interested in that is kind of a flirting situation. But I'm the type of person that enjoys laughing. Like one thing you could ask my family, my friends, one thing I'm gonna do is crack up and laugh, okay? And so I enjoy a man who also has a sense of humor. I've dated men just off of not just off of, but I've dated men in the past who were just extremely funny and had a great personality. And that reeled me in more than their like physical appearance. Obviously it didn't work out, but a sense of humor and having a personality and not just being boring and serious all the time goes a long way. So think about how that can be implemented for you. Make sure you also have a sense of humor and you're not dry all the time. Like don't nobody want to be up under and try to be with somebody who is just, ugh. Number eight, the eight subtle way to flirt with a man is to find common interests. Now, I understand that we live in a day and age where just stuff is just all over the place post pandemic, but finding things that are similar between you two that you guys both engage in, whether it's watching sports, whether it's a certain type of ice cream, whether it's a certain type of social media platform, whatever it is, find some things that you both enjoy that you can connect on. Because what that does, it creates a sense of connection between you two, but it also is conversation starters, right? You can keep a conversation going a little bit longer past the initial, hey, how are you, when you have common things and interests that are the same, right? So think about your hobbies, your wants, your needs, your goals, desires, and talk about some of those things and see where there's commonalities, see where there's similarities there and run with that. Number nine, the ninth subtle way to flirt with a man is to use text messages. Again, I'm not talking about anything over the top because some of y'all, we're not talking about D-pics and inappropriate pics. We're not talking about sexting. Okay, I mean, if, you, if you're if a grown adult and you want to do what you do, do what you do. But in this context, when you are just now meeting a man and you're trying to show interest, I don't think sexting and talking super inappropriate is going to go over too well. If you want for this to be a short-lived situation and just straight to the sex and that's it, <laughs> That might go well, but I think you should kind of reel that back in if you're looking for a committed relationship or even marriage with this person long term. But sending playful, flirty messages throughout the day and putting a little extra emoji in there can keep the conversation alive, can keep him knowing that you're interested in him. It also helps you to keep the flavor going a little bit. So just make sure that your text message conversations are not dry. They're not so serious all the time. Incorporate gifs and funny things that might just lighten the conversation and the mood. And I think that using text messages is a powerful way, but you also have to be careful because not everybody are texters, right? Some people are like, let's be on the phone or let's do video chat. Other people are like, no, I could text all day, right? So just make sure you know the type of person you're dealing with so you can kind of like quote unquote cater to their preference for now. The tip and final subtle way to flirt with the man, I should have put this at the top of the list, is to do the triangle method. I don't even know if you guys have seen or heard of this, but it was a humongous thing 
all over TikTok for a long time. Somebody reached out to me and I got featured in an article talking about it. Just a whole big thing. And it's something that you do with your facial expressions, with your body language, with that meta communication, um, which essentially is body language and the things you don't say. And essentially what you're doing is when you're in conversation with someone, you are literally doing the triangle method of looking from eye to mouth to eye. I know y'all probably like, what? But looking from their one of their eyes, like their left eye, briefly looking at their mouth and then going back up to their other eye. Now look, <laughs> I think this thing works, okay? I think my friend Shambuti even mentioned this in her book called The Game of Desire. She talked about how if you look at something, just try it, like, I'm gonna do it right now. I don't know how it's gonna convey on screen and on camera, but I'm gonna pretend like the camera is a man, honey, and I'm gonna do the triangle method real quick and y'all see if y'all can see the difference. I don't know if it worked, but look, y'all see me? I looked at the left eye, I went down to the mouth for a quick moment as they're talking and then I went back up to the other eye, right? So obviously if you are having a good communication, especially face-to-face -face communication, that person's going to see you doing that. They don't necessarily know that you're doing a triangle method, but what they do know is that you are giving eye contact, you're looked at their mouth, which can be seen as something sensual or sexual or a little flirting technique, and then you went back up to the other eye to give them back their attention again. Don't spend too much time on different areas. Don't be on their eye for 50 minutes and then on their mouth for 80 minutes and then on their other eye for 120 minutes. And they're like, okay, weirdo, but you have to do it quickly, just a few seconds and allow them to see you doing it. The whole point is for them to catch you doing it, but trust and believe this is a game changer. Game changer. Look, my final thoughts on this is the whole point of this video is to be subtle, okay? Like, don't be too over the top with it. Don't be so extra out with it. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that, that it won't work because there's exceptions to every rule. And men are oftentimes different in their approach and what they like and what they don't like and all of those things. So it might work for you. But if we're talking about subtle ways, so things that are not so overt, things that are not so out there, right? So you won't fully have to put yourself on the spot just to begin with and just allows to kind of reel him in a little bit and to open that door and to let him know that you're interested. These are some things that you can do. Now, a lot of these things, dang near all of them, were essentially for in-person interaction, right? This wasn't necessarily all for online dating and things of that nature. There are other things that you can do, you know, through online dating and virtual flirting. But if you ever get in person with the person that you are interested in and you want to try a few of these on their own or a combination, I think it would go well. And if you do, honey, come back to this video and put it in the comment section so we can have a little chit chat. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I hope something that I said in this video was helpful. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next week.